how's it going? It's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today we're gonna to talk about this new mower that I just took delivery of. We just finished our first year as a lawn care company. And if you've seen our 2020 lawn care setup video, you'll see that I was really happy with my trailer, all the equipment and the way everything was set up to try to be efficient. The only thing I didn't like was my mowers. I used the lawn mower that I already had and I bought a, another used zero turn mower. I knew all along that I was going to upgrade my mowers when the season ended. I also knew that if you wait until outside the season and the mower salesmen are trying to complete their financial year, you're gonna get a better deal. So about a month ago, I picked up this John Deere 636M stand-on mower. I thought my plan was going to be to get a narrow stand-on mower for smaller yards and maybe that mower could get through gates and to be better on hillsides. Then I was gonna pair that smaller stand-on mower with a big top-of-the-line commercial mower. I was looking at the John Deere Z-Track 900 series mowers and those do look like great mowers and I thought I had my mind made up. And then I bought this mower and I just love riding it. I think uh, it handles better, it handles hills better, it's more comfortable, it doesn't bother my back, and I made an entire video, and I'll link to that up here, about why I prefer this stand-on to a sit-down zero turn. But that's not really what this video is about. Um, after I originally wanted to get a commercial sit-down mower as the, my second mower, I decided, okay, I'm gonna get a stand-up for my second mower. Immediately I thought, well, I'll get the largest cut width that they have, which is the 661. But 661 doesn't have all the features and options that I really wanted like this 652 has. One big thing for me is to have the mulch on demand option. Now on my sit down mower, I got the um, advanced shoot system. So it's got the handle down here, you lift it and lower it, and then you're either discharge or you're mulching. The problem with that is that having that chute down doesn't truly make it a mulching mower, it just blocks the chute. I mean, and I, I, was, I really enjoyed having it. It helped you from avoiding throwing things or shooting your clippings out onto the road and stuff like that, but it tended to leave a little trail of grass at the edge of it, and it didn't mulch as well as a mulching mower should. So these John Deere mowers have an electronic mulch on demand. That's on the stand-on mowers, that's only available on the 652. So the electronic mulch on demand has a button you push, it closes baffles in a couple different spots to make it a true mulching mower, and then of course it covers the chute. I don't know if any other companies offer the electric mulch on demand, but I haven't seen it yet. Another option that I really liked about this specific mower was the Tweels. And I know that some people love tweels and some people don't like them, but from everything I've seen, I decide I wanted them. John Deere has a lot of sit-down models that offer tweels. The majority of the stand-up mowers don't. And this 652 had that option. So that's another reason I went there. I really like that between my two mowers, I only have two pneumatic wheels and that's the rear on the 636. So, a lot less flat tires to worry about. One negative to the Tweels that I don't know if everyone knows about is that they have more grip and more surface area. They don't round up as you get to the outside of the wheel. So that's great for traction and stability, but it's not so great for tearing up yards. When you make your turns on any kind of zero turn, you wanna make kind of a three point turn or you'll tear the grass up more. That is, amplified on the tweels. So if you like this kind of content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get mowing.
so I've got my mowers put back up and I'm sure that there's pros and cons to these mowers that I haven't found out yet because I haven't had them that long. But like I said earlier, I'm going to do a full review in the spring once we get started cutting again. In the meantime, you can check out my video here on why I prefer the stand on mowers over the sit down zero turns. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you next time.